Well, it's been a dreary last couple of days and damp as well. Good evening, everybody. I'm student meteorologist Tyler Allender, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. Here's your weather in a nutshell for you. The rain is clearing, but fog is coming in overnight because there's still some moisture trapped at the surface. The warm-up begins, and then we do have some more rain chances as we go into the latter part of the week. Now, taking a look at the temperatures today, we had plenty of clouds, and that kind of acts as a blanket overnight. Keeps the temperature up, but also keeps the temperature lower during the day, so that gave you a temperature of 65 degrees uh, this afternoon, 53 this morning, and you can see well below average this afternoon. So as we take a look at the rainfall total, one inch of rain, just a little bit over that officially at the airport, and we certainly need it for all those farmers and agriculturists, although... You know, it's not really good news for the golfers or those of you running to class on this Monday. It makes Monday that much harder to get going. Currently, as you can see at the airport, it's 62 degrees, 61 in downtown. So both of, the, of our recording sites uh, agreeing tonight. And temperatures actually all over the place. We're seeing uh, temperatures right around 61, including Thomasville, 61 in Monticello. A little bit warmer down toward the coast, but... Not really a big deal as far as that is concerned. And the temperature change, this is something to note, though, because we do, uh, again, have a much warmer temperature trend over the last 24 hours. 11 degrees warmer right here in the capital city, 12 degrees in Mariana. The bottom line is temperatures continuing to warm up, and we're going to be brushing the 80-degree mark as we go into the middle and latter part of the, of the week. Now, the radar is fairly dry right of the city right now, but we do have this area of rain concentrated to our east, especially over toward Monticello. So it looks like the city's drying out, but, you know, to the east, it's going to take a little bit longer to dry out as far as that is concerned. Now, the satellite and radar picture across the Florida Peninsula, Mother Nature just picking on the whole state today. Lots of moisture across the peninsula with some locally strong showers and thunderstorms across the region here. Now as we take a look at the traffic, the rain of course impending the traffic a little bit, and, but it's also came around rush hour about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, another round of showers. So just take it easy on the road for the next few hours at least and then watch out in the morning for that fog. The rain, well if you don't like the rain, it's moving out. You can see that here on our future cast just off to the east coast as we go into the day tomorrow and Wednesday the trend is drying out as you can see right here in Tallahassee much of the deep south before our next storm system comes our way toward the middle and latter part of the week. So for tonight here's what we're looking at 54 degrees that rain is clearing a little bit lingering still toward the east, 20% chance of rain. That's why we have that for you. Then tomorrow afternoon, 77 degrees, about 12 degrees warmer than today. And again, close to 80 degrees as we go into the next seven days, especially Wednesday and Thursday. Then toward the weekend, just in time for your kiddos to head back home, 40% chance of rain cooling off as well.